Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques when doing an acrylic pour project. This is a really popular type of art to be doing right now, so I'm excited for you guys to make your own. To begin with, we need a couple of different materials. We have our canvas, we have a plastic cup, and a popsicle stick. Very important, you're going to want a clean surface to work on, and I even recommend maybe doing this project outside. This paint is acrylic and will not wash out of your clothes. So the first technique that I want to show you is pouring the paint directly onto the canvas. So you're going to get started, you have your canvas, and you are just going to take your container cups and pour it directly over the canvas in the pizza box. This method is pretty cool because it'll give you some really big color blocks. You do want to keep in mind that whatever color you put on the top is going to be the most prominent because it's going to pour over some of the other colors. Also, when you're pouring the paint out onto the canvas, you want to make sure that you're leaving about a quarter still in that container. That way you can fill in any extra white spots as you move your canvas around. The best technique is going to be to hold the canvas from behind and continually turning it around, tapping it onto whatever hard surface you're working on so that that paint really starts to flow in any direction. Now, if you are turning your canvas around and the paint's really not flowing so much anymore, what you can do is you can grab the remainder of your paint from the containers and you can start layering and adding more paint to some of the white sections. You can also add more paint on top of what you've already put onto your canvas and that's going to add more color to your project. So once the entire top of your canvas is covered, you might have some white spots that are on the edges. You can use your popsicle stick to add some paint to these areas. You can smudge what's already there, you can take some extra paint from the containers, whatever works to cover up those areas, and then you put your project back in the box and you're done. So when you're done with your project, your hands are going to be very messy, so what you're going to want to do is clean up your area and go wash your hands. So the next technique that I'm going to show you is pouring your paint into the cup that was included in your kit and then putting that directly onto the canvas. So you're going to want to pour your paint right into that cup, leaving about a third in the containers. The same thing, we want to make sure that we have a little bit left over to cover any surface that is white after we've done our first pour. So you're just gonna layer these directly on top of each other in any order that you want to into that cup. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your canvas, place it directly on top of the cup and flip it over. And then I recommend pulling your cup across the canvas so that you really spread that paint out until most of it has come out of the cup. And then you can start turning your canvas in different directions, tapping, and just letting that paint flow. Now, same as before, once you get to a point where your paint isn't really moving around the canvas anymore, what you can do is you can pour the remainder of your paint back into the cup, and you can pour that over any of the white spots to fill in the blanks. And again, at the end, if you have any spots that are around the edges, you can use your popsicle stick to clean those areas up.
So the next technique is going to be a combination of the two that we already saw. So we are going to pour half of our container into the cup in whatever order you want. Same thing, you're gonna take your canvas, you're gonna place it right on top of that cup and then you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna drag the cup along the canvas, letting that paint flow out. And then you're gonna twist and turn until your paint isn't really flowing anymore. Then what you're gonna do, instead of pouring your paint into that cup and adding more onto the canvas that way, you're just gonna pour the paint directly from your containers over the canvas in whatever way you want. I really like this technique because I think it gives you the best of both. You have that really interesting layered flow, but then you also have some big chunks of color. I think it leaves you with a really nice finished product. All right, so when you're done, you're gonna wanna put this into your box to dry for about 24 hours. Clean up your area, wash your hands. As a reminder, this paint does not come off of surfaces and your clothing. So this is my finished product. This was my favorite one that I made out of the three in the tutorials. I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with, how your projects have turned out. Please take a picture and email us. It is so fun to see how every one of these projects looks different. I hope that you guys had a good time and we'll see you again soon. Bye.